In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters coming together as God's family to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of this gift may come to possess all he gives us when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one of heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostle, apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is king, king. He, he is, is robed, robed in, in majesty. majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is king, king. He, is he is robed in, in majesty. majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord, the Lord is king, he is, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house. O Lord, for length of days. The Lord, the Lord is king. king. He is, he is robed, robed in, in majesty. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered to him, 
you are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The first reading we have for today, which is from the Acts of the Apostles, gives us a picture of early Christian community, how they were living, how they were related to each other. We Christians uh, are sometimes accused of being socialists or Marxists and communists. The way we teach, the way we think, things looks like we are communists or socialists or even sometimes Marxists. It is not an accusation we should be altogether ashamed of. Uh, the socialist ideal is to each according to their need. from each according to their ability. This is the principle. If this is the essence of socialism, then it is hard to see how any follower of Christ could disagree with, with it. What, what people often do is to confuse the idea of socialism or communism with the ways in which it was implemented, as well as the atheistic materialism which it proclaimed. As we saw the early Christian community, or as during communism, as, as we see, we saw it in the history of the, of, uh, in a few uh, 50, 60 years ago, what communism and socialism was, when it was in its, uh, its height, what they call ultra-communism. Justice without love does not work. Today's reading, Acts of the Apostles from chapter 4, from verse 32 to 37, is one of the three portraits of the early Christian community. Probably it is more the expression of an ideal than a historic description. But it is no less valid for all that. Today's description emphasizes the communal ownership and the mutual responsibility of the community members for each other. As we read it, there are four elements. There are four elements mentioned in the first sentence. They, 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 the believers form a community. They are of one heart and mind, deeply united with one another. Thirdly, no one claimed anything 
as belonging to themselves. Everything was held in common. The first, they gave witness to the central element of their faith, the risen Jesus, with great power through signs and healings. There are no rich or poor in this community. Those who owned lands or houses sold them. This was a voluntary sharing to provide for those who did not have enough for the essential of living. So each one's aim was to ensure that the needs, the, necess the necessarily uh, the wants of others were met rather than each one looking only to their own needs. It is, it is very important to know that this was possible because the community of believers were of one heart and one mind. Their material sharing was simply an expression of the care which they left for each other at a much deeper level. I think this is one of the main points we can reflect for today. So we can ask ourselves, our community, our parish, do we find such sharing communities in our church today? One obvious example are the, the, the many different communities of religious life whose misleading name it, vow of poverty is primarily not a vow of destitution but one of total sharing of resources coupled with a life of material simplicity clearly some some communities live this life more effectively than others as we see it in many communities in our, in, our, in our church. There are also, in our own time, many other groups of lay people who try to implement this Christian vision. We have to admit, though, that many Christians, including religious, can be caught up in the individualism, hedonism, consumerism, and the materialism that dominates so many of our uh, prosperous society today. These are the things which we have to be very careful. They can easily take us away from what we believe or what our church teaches. So, Perhaps today we could, we could reflect on our own attitude to material goods, how we acquire them, how we use them, to what extent we share our material belongings with those in genuine need and not just out of our surplus as we are experiencing nowadays this, because of this coronavirus, many people are out of work. We see many people are suffering. So, do we share what we have with them? Do we share our love, our prayers with them? All these things, this is what this part of the scripture reminds us to care for one another. This is something we need to reflect on us as individuals, to reflect it as families, and in our parish community too. So this is a good reminder. It is a, a reading which, is, which can be applied today in this, uh, what we are living. 
There should not be any people in real need in our parish communities. If there are, how can we speak of ourselves as, as a parish community? So today, as we reflect on this part of the scripture, I think it is one of, uh, which can help us a lot to see our journey of life as Christians, to be united in love, to put God first, and to look our brothers and sisters in a brotherly love as our Lord taught us. And now let us present our petitions, our prayers before our loving God. For the church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life in the spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Charles Kaminsky, whom this holy mass is being offered, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. Merciful and loving God, we present these prayers before you and we ask to accept our prayers and to answer our prayers according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creations, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is true right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. <laughs> through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt us in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy holy, 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 holy Lord, God of God hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection, your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we praise that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, Asian, our Archbishop, Isabel and Daniel, auxiliary bishops, Peter, certain retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages who may marry to be quarrels to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive and us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, into temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, kingdom, the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory, and glory are, yours, are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.